Hmm. Warning, package sealed with security tape. This is the security tape. This is really heavy. Oh, it is not so big. Okay, false alarm. The power supply itself is not that big. The box was just packed like this. Extra space there. Nice cushioning. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, so heavy. Wow, oh, what's so heavy? Oh, oh. wow. That's the box. Corsair RM850X fully modular. Fully modular. 80 plus gold. 10 year warranty. Probably I will have to change it in another 3 years. High performance ATX power supply. Let's see about the performance. Let's see, heavy. Oh. 80 plus gold certified. 140 magnetic levitation fan for ultra noise, low noise operation. Quiet fan. 150 Celsius grade electrolytic Japanese capacitors. Modern standby compatible. Don't know what it's supposed to mean. The, it has a zero RPM fan mode, so I have to watch out when I test it. Zero RPM mode, fully modular, eight plus efficiency, highest efficiency at about forty to fifty percent. The fan noise will go up. It's quiet until... So my power consumption will be around 600 here. 2025. Not bad. 20 dB. 25 dB. The AC input power rating is 100 volts and 240 volts. 10 amps to 5 amps. 50 Hertz and 60 Hertz so maximum load on 3.3 volts 20 amps 5 volts plus 5 volts 20 amps 70 amps on plus 12 volts combined voltage 850 yeah 850 watts is the powerful This is the power supply. Let's open it, the box and see. Ah, okay. Details. Compatibility. This is important here. Model number. Or no. Serial number. Oh, this is shiny. Interesting. So we have inside one power supply, one power supply, one ATX24 pin, three ATX8 pin, 12 volts, 
two PCIe 8 pin. So I guess for the RTX 3090 I have to use the split. I thought it had three of these but looks like no. One peripheral, two SATA. I will probably use only one of these. And again, two SATA for with four cables. Let's see inside the box. Hope it smells nice. a bit dusty inside interesting but still still pretty good pretty good first thing to see here this is the proper connector the power cable always good to have the correct power cable this is the UK plug goes directly into the ATX power supply Perfect. Some zip ties and screws. The screws to install in the case. Always good to have the screws. Whoa. I think half of the weight is in the cables. A lot of with wires here. Oh, nice and shiny. Tied together with this. Don't don't throw these away. You could use them to. You could use them as cable ties. Interesting, this is glue or looks like it was pulled a bit and lost the color. Or no, it's some. Um, is this glue? Ah, it's just glue. Okay, no problem. It's just glue. I thought it was the metal shavings. If this is metal shavings, it's not good at all. But it's just glue. I have to say the Seasonic. Seasonic power supply seemed more, more well built. This also feels a bit cheap. Yeah, okay. ATX power connector. SATA cables feel pretty cheap. I have to say they feel pretty cheap and this is falling what's this falling apart wow first time I have to do this tighten a cable as I unbox it okay this one looks okay more SATA SATA Even more SATA With three, three SATA connectors CPU CPU, CPU connector Something is written on this one markings on it we got more SATA markings on it the Molex old style connector this is almost this is almost not used at all anymore markings on the PCIe markings on the P power supply connector 
Molex cables not so used, but if you have some accessories, RGB might use this, but I think they might use the SATA now. This? Hope this is graphics card. PCIe CPU again. CPU. Markings on the connector. Okay, we get to the good stuff. PCIe 6 6 pin or 8 pin. This is a bit cheap. Really, wow, they don't even lock or they do. Like this, have to make sure these markings are correct. Uh, the locks, I don't know. Like this, so here we have two, two PCIe from one power supply connector, one 8P. Let's see how many of these are. I will use this with the RTX 3090 and the RTX 3090 has three PCIe connectors. So, CPU again. Wow. Interesting. Maybe I could use one of this CPU for the PCIe. Or no, probably not. Looks like it's coded. The last cable, one more PCIe. So I have, I have two PCIe cables, and each cable has an ex extra. So I will use both PCIe cables, and one of the cables will use both ends here. So this, this is the power supply I bought. Power supply, cardboard packing, that's nice, moisture prevention, this can don't eat this, oh. Oh, oh. And uh, some manual. Let's smell it. Let's smell it. Oh, smells like. Power windings transformer. Mm. I see the cables. Mm. Cables are so so. This is not the big one. Mm. It smells a bit like uh, the rubber glue from this one. It's glued here to keep them together okay it's interesting it has some kind of a paint marking on it like it has a like a permanent marker or something Like they were tested and they were marked, so I don't know. It's 
smells like rubber. A bit like beach toys, but mostly plastic and glue. But this one, let's open it. Interesting sound. The sound from some kind of warning. Ah, this is good. It's telling you the fan might not spin when it's not in high load. So if the fan doesn't spin, it doesn't mean it's not working. Ah, but here, yeah, my my Seasonic had a button to switch. And this one doesn't have it. So interesting. Low cost version of Seasonic. Let's smell it. Heavy, really heavy plastic smell. Oh, smells like a transformer and computer parts, like really high power electronic components, electric components. Oh, nice, smooth here. Corsair RM. 850 X 850 watts power supply and X supposedly it has better capacitors it was part of the advertisement on on the box Japanese capacitors use designed for use with genuine Corsair type 4 cable set only Watch out for mixing cable sets. Could damage the power supply. We have SATA, parallel ATA, same thing. PCIe slash CPU. Ah, oh, okay, so they are the same C PCIe and CPU. So maybe I could use one of the CPU connectors from here. I think I can, yeah. So, okay. SATA, 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 SATA. This one is different. I think this one is also PCIe. It's the same shape like this, this here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's two CPU and three PCIe. So maybe I'm okay. Maybe I, I don't need a Ah, they could be selling a third PCI cable separately. This is one. One would be interesting if they do that trick on me now. Hope not. Motherboard. This is the, I think the CPU. One connector. It's 10 pin and 24 pin. And again, PCI and CPU. Okay, same. Same on both sides. RM850X. By default, it's on one. Button is very solid. Let's make it. Oh, still smells very powerful. I can see a lot of big components inside. Big components in there. Okay, this is the label. Pause here if you want to read details about the power supply specifications. 
this should work with the RTX 3090 I will test it soon first I will install it in my case I have the RTX 2060 and I will install it in the case and use it with the RTX 2060 for a while until I get my 3090 let's see if the manual has anything interesting two pages not much shock hazard ok disclaimers compliance means disclaimers I will put it to the test pretty soon let's see how it works if it works ah and it doesn't have it doesn't have a power supply tester I didn't see a power supply tester so it's a really low cost have to say Seasonic packaging was much better than this cable quality cable quality also much better on Seasonic this is probably made by Seasonic but low cost my 650 watts power supply might work with the 3090 RTX 3090 but probably not so I would uh, upgrade to the RTX for the RTX 3090 to 850 watts power supply 750 watts power supply for 3090 is the minimum recommended the recommended one but I prefer a little bit higher just in case so let's see